Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, today I am going to take the next named reaction of the organic chemistry. In the previous, I have discussed few uh, named reactions. Today, I will discuss named reactions. First named reaction will be Kolb's reaction. Kolb's reaction. What happened mainly in the Kolb's reaction? Kolb reactions mainly says that when phenol that is C6H5OH phenol when treated with base and base will be sodium hydroxide when treated with base and and reacted with carbon dioxide at 400 degree Kelvin temperature and and six atmospheric pressure followed by followed by acidification acidification salicylic acid will be formed followed by acidification salicylic acid will form so mr colby have designed this reactions in a short term what exactly meaning of the Kolb's reaction? Simply when phenol, like this is our phenol compound, when phenol treated with base that is sodium hydroxide and reacted, reacted with carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide at 400 degree Kelvin or we can say it 125 degree Celsius in the Celsius form. So 125 degree Celsius and the pressure will be 6 atm followed by acidification and acidification will be made by the hydrochloric acid. Then what will form salicylic acid. salicylic acid this is salicylic acid this is our phenol compound and the product will be salicylic acid this is the overview of the Kolb's reactions but mechanism of this reaction is some complicated but I will discuss one by one steps so you can easily understand what happened for in the phenols that salicylic acid will be formed in the cold reactions. So here, step first, steps. I will discuss one by one. So make sure, find out what I am saying here. Firstly, this is your phenol compound. It reacted with sodium hydroxide so actually in the sodium hydroxide your sodium ion have the positive charge while hydroxide ion have the negative charge same here hydroxide group your oxygen 
have the electronegativity charge while hydrogen have electropositive charge charge so what happened this your positive charge that is sodium ion this will get reacted and added with the hydroxide so what happened here this sodium hydro this sodium ion will get attached with it this oxygen atom so here this is your oxygen and now this sodium ion get attached it will form it have the positive charge while oxygen have the negative charge this compound will which form known as the sodium phenoxide phenoxide sodium phenoxide and this hydrogen molecule and this hydrogen ion will get removed in the form of a water molecule this is your first step next now this reaction is completed now this sodium phenoxide compound when again treated with the carbon dioxide so next step here what happened is treated with the carbon dioxide at 125 degrees celsius and 6 atmospheric pressure so what is the actually actual structure of carbon dioxide here carbon have symmetrical structure in the oxygen and this is the actual structural form of the carbon dioxide so what happened when at this temperature carbon dioxide treated heated then this both oxygen atoms have the electronegativity activity while this carbon have the electropositive potential so now after heating at 120 degree celsius 125 degree celsius approx this bond get break down and what happened here your this oxygen ion get electro negative charge while this carbon dioxide get electro positive charge this is your carbon dioxide actually at 120 or 125 degree celsius temperature so now this hydroxide ion now this your carbon that have the electro positive charge and your oxygen here have the electro negativity charge now this carbon get attached to this hydroxide ion basically oxygen atom so what happen in the next step this is the same now your oxygen molecule oxygen molecule get attached with the carbon so here carbon again carbon have this oxygen molecule with the double bond so this is your oxygen molecule double bond now this have the negative charge and this sodium have the positive charge now this o n a here your oxygen have the negative charge and sodium have the positive charge but this is an intermediate this is an intermediate and this intermediate is unstable intermediate and this intermediate is unstable so what happened this intermediate get rearranged rearranged so after rearrangement what happened now this intermediate i will took here now this intermediate since here in the benzene ring here is a hydrogen molecule hydrogen molecule since if i break it in the form of like this so we will get hydrogen atom here so after the arrangement this full assembly 
will get transferred to the ortho position of the benzene ring and this hydrogen molecule will transfer to the oxygen so what we will get next in the next step after rearrangement your o h here we will get o and this hydrogen ion transfer here so oh while at ortho position what we will get c double bond o n a here your o have the negative charge while sodium have the positive charge now this compound will when treated your next reactions acidification and the acidification mainly carried out by the hydrochloric acid so when acidification of this compound will be made by the hydrochloric acid then what happen here again this hydrochloric acid hydrogen have the positive charge while chlorine have the negative charge now here oxygen have the negative charge while sodium have the positive charge so this chlorine will reacted and form sodium chloride at the subsidiary product while this hydrogen ion get attached with this oxygen molecule so here we will get our final product this is our first compound and this c double bond o and h and with this what we will get here removed n a c l will remove out so this is our salicylic acid or it is also known as 2 hydroxy benzoic acid 2 hydroxy benzoic acid so this is our final compound in the pulse reactions thank you